Aloha again, guys. Mike Jutar, principal broker and owner of Next Home Paradise Realty. I'm outside one of our listings, two of our agents. Cindy Whittemore and Jerry Rott have this one listed. We're on Broker's Caravan today. We're in Pu'ulani Ranch. Now, a few of you probably know where this is. This is on the upper road between Kona and Waikoloa. It's really a nice neighborhood that people overlook. It's about 10, 15 minutes from Kona. And you're up here in a cool elevation, but unlike a lot of other places where you have some elevation, it's pretty dry up here. Um, it's in a nice little sweet spot. This home is in great shape. This is a great time of year up here. Look at the jacaranda trees in full bloom, uh, silver oaks. Uh, it's a really, really neat area. All the lots are on over an acre. Some are even up to three acres, if I remember correctly. And we've got solar hot water heater tank on top. We have solar photovoltaic over here on the side. Fully gutted house, board and batten. Plenty of parking. I mean, you could do a lot here. When you have an acre, it's pretty cool. Look at all this space that you have. Pretty neat. They've also done a good job of, a lot of people do this here in Hawaii, they put down a lot of rock work. And the reason is everything grows like crazy out here. So if there's things that you can do to lower the amount of maintenance that you have, uh, often that can be pretty desirable. We're going to see some people in here. It is Broker's Caravan. And in this market, there's very few things available. So you got to see what you can, see if you have a buyer for it. You saw it, we just passed a two-car garage. We're gonna come right in here. Nice covered entryway, entryway with wide double doors. And taking a quick look around, you can see the forest through. I'll get a better view of that in a moment. Main living area, nice and large. Kitchen right over there connected. Let's come over here real quick to the guest bedroom wing of the house. So we have a wood laminate flooring down here in this bedroom. They have this converted into an office. This is being used by a couple. And you can convert this into a kid's room or a guest bedroom or keep it as an office like this. Plenty of space as a bedroom. And this is what I like doing in guest wings of houses. I like having the Jack and Jill bathroom. Uh, you can have, if everyone has an in-suite, sure, that's great, but having a Jack and Jill is pretty good, and it's a good use of your money. If you don't have a lot of people coming all the time to visit you, uh, you know, bathrooms are expensive to build. With this, you know, you're only building the one bathroom. And, let's be honest, we don't want to be too comfortable for our guests or they won't ever leave. Um, granite countertops on top there, nice sink. And then we walk through to our other guest bedroom. Plenty of windows letting in a lot of light. You can see the forest out through there. Uh, pretty gorgeous. We'll take a look in a moment. We have an Eastern king size bed, so nice and wide. Plenty of space on either side of the bed for your nightstands. And plenty of space from the end of the bed out to our closet, a little bit of a deeper closet that we have right there. And back over through our tea hallway into our living and dining area in the kitchen. I'm gonna run through to the owner's suite. We got some storage over here on our right side, so that's nice. We have our powder room. So in addition to the Jack and Jill that we had for the guests, we have a powder room out here for when people are just over for dinner or whatnot. Access out to the two car garage, more storage. And then something I really like with how they have this set up. We have access to our kitchen. Owner's suite is right there. So it feels disconnected, but it's really close. So if you wanna Wake up in the morning, come make your coffee, you're close by. The other thing that I like, and I think people overlook this quite a bit, is that the laundry is right over here by the owner's suite. 
I don't understand how so many times we see homes designed where the owner's suite is on one side of the house and the laundry is clear on the other side of the house and it's just a couple living there. So you get your dirty clothes, you lug them all the way across the house, you do your laundry, and then you lug them all the way back to the bedroom. That just doesn't make much sense to me. Um, so I like that they have that laundry really close here to the master suite. Nice job on this walk-in shower. We've got a river stone bottom. Looks great, 12 by 24 tiles. You know I like it going all the way up to the ceiling. Good job on that. Toted over here, double sinks, granite countertops, large mirror. There's my face. And then in here to the owner's bedroom. Really good size on this. Take a moment to pan through. Again, it looks like we have an Eastern king size bed there. We got about four feet plus on either side of the bed. Down here at the foot of the bed, it looks like we got about seven feet from the foot of the bed to the end of the room. Lots of space here. And a good size closet. I'm gonna need to walk in that one. It's actually pretty deep. So, looks like we're about a four foot by maybe 10 or 12. Good size on that. And then a slider to access out here to the backyard. So let's come through again and take a quick moment to take a look at the kitchen, which I think is absolutely outstanding here. So. Check out these countertops. Look at that. Great job on the countertops. They look really sharp. We have a Bosch oven and cooktop. Gray tile on the back. White shaker cabinets with brush chrome pulls. And then got crafts made. Crafts made on the cabinets, dovetail joints, glides underneath, and soft clothes. Nice little station there if you want to stick your coffee maker. I think that works out really good. Stainless steel on the refrigerator, French door refrigerator, drawer on the freezer, dishwasher right over there right by the sink, and a nice butcher block island in here. So we got plenty of cabinets on top. Looks like we got 36 inch cabinets with a three inch crown. Pretty good. All right, so let's come through back here into the living room and out to the covered lanai and the backyard. So a lot of space here on the cover of the night. I'm gonna count the tiles for the width. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, uh, almost a full 13. So 13 feet wide, and I'm not gonna count how far down it goes, but that looks to be about 30 feet or so. Plenty of space and it's covered. So when you do get rain, which it doesn't get a ton of rain up here, but when you do get rain, you can still sit out here and uh, enjoy night. A lot of people are going to do this as their main dining area. Uh, and why wouldn't you? The temperature out here is great year round. Look at our grass is in outstanding shape. So we got a little bit of green in here, but then again, let the rest go. So you're not having to maintain all that. Very efficient. Look at all the silver oaks in bloom. That is just gorgeous. Privacy is super awesome out here. I can see, so Kulani Ranch uh, has horse stables. And so if you have a horse, if you're a horse person, uh, there's some really great amenities. And if you're interested in that, let me know. We can check that out for you. But otherwise, I see a little bit of a roof right through there. And that is it. You are free from your neighbors. So really nice setup here. They did a nice job with the rock wall work. And then coming out to this nice little sun lanai. Oh, look, I got a little chimera. 
you can just hear the birds everywhere. It's a beautiful area out here at Pu'ulai Ranch. If you have been looking at property here in Hawaii, you should definitely give Pu'ulani Ranch a look. It is absolutely beautiful. It's really not that far from town. If you're someone who doesn't have to drive to town every single day to work, um, what's it matter if you're 15, 20 minutes from town? If you're only going to town once a week. Um, you get a lot of land, you get a lot of space, you get a lot of privacy. You got a strong homeowners association here that maintains the value of the homes in the neighborhood. Newer homes, if you look at the price per foot of a home like this in Kona, I bet you're looking at about 30% more money in Kona town as opposed to out here. And you're not getting an acre of land. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know. As always, hit the like button. And most importantly, really appreciated me a lot to me if you could subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a lot. YouTube promotes me more. And uh, look forward to seeing you on our next property tour.